Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Elzig's Farewell. <laughs> Elzig's Farewell is a very exciting old time stroke bluegrass tune uh, and incidentally if you're enjoying my videos and want them to keep coming then do please consider joining me on Patreon. It was a request for Peggy and uh, when I looked at this tune I saw that there are lots of different versions but the, the one that I very much most enjoyed is by Julian Pinelli uh, playing with some of his mates and uh, it sounds great. Um, they, there are three sections of this tune, sometimes there are two, um, and they are very often in different orders. But we do actually know who this tune was written by. Uh, it was by Harvey Ellswick. Uh, Harvey Ellswick was born in Kentucky in 1838, and he wrote this tune in 1889. And he supposedly played this to his mother on her deathbed. And if you consider the pace of the tune, I consider it quite an inappropriate tune <laughs> as a deathbed tune. But there you go. Um, so the, the version I'm going to give you, as I say, is from Julian Pinelli. And it has the wonderful third part where it goes down an octave and gives you this um, rather lovely kind of rock riff. But uh, let's go through slowly from the beginning. Starts off with a fourth finger unison, if you can do this. If you, if you can't do it, then just leave that out, because it's a shame to not do a tune, just because one bit sounds wrong. But here we go. This A section can be played just over an A drone or an A minor chord and um, I think it's good to do it like that the first time round but there are some very nice chords, these A minor C to F to G uh, which I very much like and we're going to play it with, the, with those chords as the main backing. But onto the B section, another fourth, uh, another fourth finger drone. you can slur the uh, end of the fourth bar into the beginning of the next bar which I quite like uh, and then we've got this it, it goes down an octave and uh, it's kind of been accentuated to give you this uh, lick feel of a, a guitar power chord type riff on, on, uh, to it, which can be really effective. Um, you have the option of playing instead of the... instead of playing that E, you can play an E flat. And... Um, whether you choose the E natural or the E flat, I think is it's a bit like it's a bit like uh, deciding whether or not you are attracted to the dark side because there's definitely something uh, something wicked about. Um <laughs> So 
especially if you do those parallel fifths, that's a real guitar lick kind of thing. And uh, it's, like, it's like the sorting hat, if, if you go for the E natural then you're a Gryffindor and if you go for the E flat then you're definitely a Slytherin. <laughs> so let's do this slowly with the backing and then we'll do it up to tempo. One more time, and this time we'll do it up to tempo. and would like a copy of the dots then do subscribe and send me an email if you would like to get hold of a zip file with all 350 of my pdfs and that's um, as of today there's going to be a lot more <laughs> coming uh, then do subscribe to my patreon page which will cost you um, no more than four pounds a month uh, to start with which will get you all of those pdfs in one go as well as loads of other things as well and that is what keeps these videos coming uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will play you out with a couple of times round with a bit of improvisation. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.